Oz vs Crack and welcome back to another new video on KTFG and today we are back with another match day vlog it's the second week of the Allianz League as today we're going back down to the box of the Athletic Grounds to watch Arma host Mayo now these two played a pretty good match last year in Roscommon which Mayo of course did uh, come out on top with a two point win I do believe it was but you know this will be a very good match I think because both these sides are very evenly matched in my opinion but, you know Arma definitely do have it they do have what it takes to win this one, as do Mayo, so it's going to be a very tight one this one. Uh, I'm not too sure he'll win, I'll probably have a prediction down at the stadium, you know, so you know, we're just going to have to wait and see then what I think will happen. But you know, it's going to be a very good match, I do think. Galway, of course, Mayo, of course, drawn with Galway last week, so they're not going to be an easy side, but Arma definitely can win, as can Mayo, so it's going to be a very evenly matched game. And see you all then down at the box of the Athletic Grounds, which is the new name, of course for the athletic rounds. There you can see he's a new stadium sponsor box it up there. <laughs> it's now two o'clock an hour and a half till the game will start and it looks like the queues are starting to build up and the first fans by looks of it are getting into the stadium. Here's the male team arriving now ahead of the game. There's Aiden O'Shea there now. Kelly O'Connor as well. Here's our view for the game then. We're pretty high up, but they're good seats anyway. And both teams are now out. Anyway, warming up a wee bit. I don't know if I'll be sitting here the entire game or I'll go around to one of the terraces to stand instead. But we'll see what the crowds are like for the time. So, you know, the gates have only been open for about 10 minutes. And already, like the stand is almost full, so this is going to be a packed out game. And still, I got about an hour and a half, a bit less, until the game starts. Looking at both teams, it's pretty much the same RMA side that's been named in the programme at least from the last week I went in Monaghan. And pretty much at the same bench as well, so not really any changes made in the RMA team. As for Mayo, of course, you know, I think we can definitely get at that back line. But a good midfield with Matthew Ruan and Jeremy O'Connor and James Carr up top, he scored some goal last week as well. Then you got a few super subs there as well. Kelly O'Connor, Aidan O'Shea, uh, Kevin McLaughlin on the bench. So an hour until the game starts here in the athletic range. I don't know if you can see there, but there's a Mayo flag and it's been covered by an Arma flag. Top banter by the Arma fans there. There's a male team of training now. For about, I'd say, 30 40 minutes until the game starts. There's the RMA team of training now. Half an hour until the game starts. The atmosphere is building. The stadium is almost full. The better grounds. As you can see, there's at least over 15,000 fans already. We've still got about 20 minutes until the game starts. So there is actually a change in the Mayo team. Aidan O'Shea is starting in the midfield ahead of German O'Connor. That's a massive change there. Let's see how Aidan O'Shea will perform in this one. The game still. Well, the build up still continues in Arma. The game begins. Come on, Arma. Rain on Eel steps over. Let's re kick early on. Big score. Arm Alley. Getting it as a point. 1 1 after 5 minutes. Step us over rain. Good 
two or three. After 20 minutes, I'm now ahead by a point. Time here, and it's our man leading me two points at the break, eight points to six. So, half time here, of course, our man leading me two points. Uh, my face is pretty red, that's because the sun's been cutting at us now for about uh, it's near an hour now. Like, so, you know, that's pay by some of the, uh, the footage hasn't appeared too clear, but you know, overall, though, uh, getting under the match, I think our man have been better side. There was a bit there near the end of the uh, first half there in the last few minutes where it was sort of a bit sloppy. But overall I do think it's been alright. Well it's going to be interesting to see can we hold out for the second half. I hope so but in my opinion that was a brilliant first half. So yeah, I'll see you all then for the second half. Would you look at that? Sun still blazing down here in Arma and then with the floodlights on. Second half begins. Is it Nishé? There's a really good by it Nishé there. I must say so. Score here the lead a uh, point currently 10 each 13 14 minutes into the second half This is massive. We are over the amount of injury time, and if Ray O'Neill scores, it's 17 points apiece. Come on, Ray.
Ireland. 17 points each. And Armagh have drawn it in the last minute. I tell you what, we'll take that. We fought, fought back and we'll take a point in the end. Warm down for the Armagh players. And the Mayo warm down as well. So lads, there you go. Armagh draw in the last kick of the game pretty much. You get a 17 point, a 17 point draw at home to Mayo. Now that was a brilliant match to watch. I mean, the atmosphere is unreal inside the boxes of athletic grounds. Uh, you know, Armagh of course, I thought they were pretty good in the first half. Then the second half we came out and we were a bit sloppy. You know, kickouts weren't going our way, the passes weren't going our way. But in the last 10 minutes then, we definitely did step up. We started to press them, uh, press Mayo, and well, we started to win the ball back a lot more and kept the ball as well. So, you know, overall, you know, we weren't too great in the second half, but overall, it still was an all right performance and it was massive to get a point there against Mayo. Mayo are one of the trickiest sides I think we'll face this season in the league at least, and well, it's good that we can get a point out of that tricky game. Uh, the next uh, Armagh match is in two weeks' time, I do believe. We're with Ross Common, so you know, Ross Common have got two wins in two so far against Throne and Galway. So they're going to be a tricky team, actually, as well. And well, it's going to be interesting to see. Can Armagh fold them over in two weeks' time? Uh, that's just a wait and see then. So, you know, that will end today's match day vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you all for supporting the channel once again. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all once again in KTFG very, very soon.